What's up, everybody? Welcome back to day two of the Death Knight show match. We try our best to defend our first place standing currently. I have four more matches to play today. They are all rematches against Blood Decks. I did go seven and one against Blood Decks yesterday, so theoretically I'm favored, but I can't help but feel like I got lucky quite a few times. Like we scammed a couple wins with like Theatars and stuff, you know? Like I, I don't think we're really a seven and one lineup here. Okay, Bonebreaker Vizier is a pretty good opener. I don't know if we keep the Rhyme Fang Sword when I have the Bonebreaker already. Turn off my phone. But we like having early minion pressure here against his deck. Although he does have some removal, like we still, there, there's basically two ways I win with this deck, right? Sometimes we win with just like early minion hits and we just chunk them down and we just get there on damage, right? And sometimes we win with scams. We patchwork their Denathrius. We use our own Denathrius. We, you know, Theatar or something, right? There, there's a handful of different ways we can scam wins here, but it just kind of depends on the shape of our hand and, you know, the, the, the shape of the, the health total they have. It often depends on what gets discovered, right? Um, sometimes you want to discover good stuff. He has coin, by the way, so let's keep that in mind. For a Denathrius, he may be able to play it a turn sooner. I was actually just looking at Bunny Hopper's list for a second. I was like, I saw Raid Boss on Nixia. I was like, wait, no, he doesn't have Raid Boss on Nixia. <laughs> what am I looking at? Um, Nerubian Vizier here is fine. We, I don't think we need to greed this for the discount. I think I just want the body on board here. Uh, Plague Strike would be a really nice discount, but I think we do take the Plague Strike to try to win the early board. Next turn on four, that's a really good swing. I think that also means I hold my weapon here for perhaps a better target, since we know that this will kill the 2-3, assuming no other variables. So that looks pretty nice. No, we aren't allowed to change cards. I only play one deck and I can't change cards, so you're gonna know exactly what you get. And, and deck lists are open, so we each know each other's, uh... We each know each other's decks. <laughs> His turn fours are the Sarian would be really good. School teacher. Sir Finley. I don't know. Who knows, right? He must be just looking for a play here. He's got three mana remaining. He doesn't have anything great for three, but. Okay. So Plague Strike getting a uh, fine value here against Finley, I guess. Not a home run or anything, but I think we live with it. Otherwise, a pretty good turn. <sighs> Get some nice minions out at least. We don't have like an obscene amount of chip damage here. He's at 33, right? 31. And it does at least have some card draw. Now he's Frost, so not a lot of minion swarms here. I can't get too greedy on this Remorseless Winter. As soon as there's like a decent board for Remorseless Winter, I, I think we're playing it, basically. Worried about seeing a Talon soon for his turn five. I think a Gnome Muncher soon would be a little sad as well. But maybe not the end of the world. Ugh. Don't love this turn. This is a little shaky. That's a good draw though. Just any minion here is good. And we're pushing this face. We care a lot about chip damage here. Chip damage matters to us enormously. He has healing in this deck. I mean, but but still we have to try to create that chip damage pressure. We can't we can't be too afraid of the healing. Boy, what I wouldn't give right now for a uh, one of my disruption cards, patchwork or theatar, right? Would go a really long way. Another chill fallen's actually pretty decent. Uh, I think we go wide here. He has spammy for removal. He does have a blood boil. Hmm. Well, we still need to get this going sooner rather than later, though. We really can't wait too long. I think we go for Chip again. 
keep him on the back foot. Blood Boil only hits enemy minions, right? So it is a little bit risky if he does have it. He has a lot of cards in hand. So I think I think Blood Boil is pretty likely, yeah. Fortunately. He's hitting face a lot. That kind of makes me think he also might have a Denathrius here. Where do these chips roll? Hit that 3-5 once. <sighs> Actually prefer... For hitting that 3-5 to set up this Frost Strike, right? Um, I guess in this case we can trade this in here because we don't want it to heal him again. Like, if I hit for 3, I only net 1 anyway. So, because it's going to heal next turn, right? Oh, that was weird. Client's like a little laggy today, I feel like. I just have these tiny little hiccups. Oh, Marrow Manipulator is really good. Frostworm's Fury is also kind of decent, but I don't think it's as much output here i actually think there's a pretty good chance i uh horn of winter the marrow manipulator now because my turn otherwise is just kind of meh defrost chill fallen i guess isn't the end of the world but i like how this is on an empty board and creating a lot of damage outs here I think we need to create pressure. This is six damage in hand. Theoretically, I have seven on board. Of course, not really, right? But, oh, hit that spammy. I need that chill fallen for draw. Okay. That's nice. Yeah, that's not the end of the world on the patchwork. I mean, I hate losing the 5-5, five five, of course, but that could be a lot worse. Ugh. Oh. Suddenly thinking about those, uh. Thinking again about those, uh. Those spicy, uh. Yeah, we're gonna do this actually, because he might have a, a corrupted Ashburger he wants to heal off of here. And I just need to connect to more damage. Let's see, how much does that leave me with here? We have six in hand, and three here is nine, eleven. Boy, doesn't really win yet. <sighs> Is a tempo Renathal better for now, I guess? Yeah. We want to put minions in for Denathrius, I guess. I kind of hate it. I kind of hate it because if he has an Ashbringer, I'll be really sad, but... <sighs> I don't know. We're just not quite there yet on setting up the lethal, so I think having a minion that maybe gets to attack or stall out that patchwork for a turn is really nice. I would love a Theatar, man, because we're getting really close to Denathrius. He also has Bone Guard Commanders, which are kind of a nightmare. He would have played one of those here, though, I think. So probably not a Bone Guard Commander in hand. But he's going to turn 9 next turn, and then... Did he play the coin yet? Oh, God, I don't remember if he played the coin yet or not. Did he play coin? Oh, there's that weapon. Okay. So that's his one Ashbringer. Yeah, he has one Ashbringer only, and that's his only weapon, I think, so... This would be a good turn to Howling Blast. Um, also, Remorseless Winter here is pretty nuts, too. Yeah. Oh, man, I love the Sarian, but this is fine. Okay. Six here. Maybe eight if he kills both. Okay. Vizier's actually a pretty good start unless he finds healing. <sighs> Howling Blast face to stall my attack. Okay, sure. Oh, and clear the minions too. That's pretty good. Vizier again, actually. Yeah, that does currently stop lethal, right? Sunwell! <laughs> oh my god! Okay. Um... This currently does not have a target. So I have four. Denathrius won't go enough face. This can't hit face, remember this is only minions. So I only have five guaranteed. Am I probably better off going for a Bran here? Yeah. This can find lethal pretty often. We need the deal four thing. Uh, that's, that's enough actually right there, right? Uh, sure. I don't know if we need that or not, but... Cool. Woo! That freeze face after the, uh, the... The draw there really helped a lot. Nice. 
That's a big win, guys. Because I defended the, the reverse sweep. I just really, really needed one here to defend my points from yesterday. Woo! Scary game. Scary game, dude. You guys are still <laughs> talking about the Nathrius. I looked over at chat for the first time. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. This this is close. I feel like the I, I feel like there's a good chance he had the Nathrius, right? He had so many cards in hand. Uh no, we we have enough card draw that we trust it, right? I mean this alone is already drawing a card and generating a card, so I think that's okay. Alright, that's actually a pretty good minion opener. Yeah, that's really nice. Man, okay. This hand feels good. This is still the kind of hand that could be susceptible to his draw, though, depending on what he gets, right? Like what are what are his removals again? Blood boil spammy yeah okay so we should have a couple turns to get under this i think he didn't play the weapon on one he didn't play a cadaver on one we've seen him tempo a cadaver a few times i think we play this it actually lets me maybe coin a vizier if he kills it which would be not ideal but i think it'd be okay if he doesn't kill it of course harbinger's fine so i think we'll be all right oh wow he held that a turn that's actually kind of wild all right, sneaky good, man. That was off the left, right? He held that for two. Maybe he's thinking about activating his own Vizier on three, and he didn't want it to die on turn one. That might be why. Or played around the Cadaver, I guess. That's pretty sneaky, I guess. I like it. I like it, sir. Yeah, we'll go Vizier here. It would actually be kind of nice to get one of those, like, swingy tempo things. Or we'll just take the Scourge for turn six. Yeah, that's also pretty nuts. Uh, chip damage here is not worth much with the Mistress out, unfortunately, is it? No, we better just go ahead and trade then in this case. Horn of Winter, okay. I mean, it's technically worth one, right? Because he would go to 35 and then heal to 39, but... Might as well get the minion value too while we can. Maybe protect this 2-4 for another turn. Okay, that's pretty weak from him, thankfully. Um, Tempo now or... No, we like card draw. We've got the tempo here. It's it, We might need reload later, right? We'll, we'll play for the reload later. Surprise, did that minion hit face? Oh, no, no. Second, I thought he went face that, which I wouldn't wouldn't advise if I'm healing off the mistress, but he didn't, he didn't do that. He's smart. He's good. He knows what's up. So next turn is actually a little clunky, isn't it, man? Um, Rhyme Fang's okay, certainly. Um, I could have tried to get a Rhyme Fang down this turn and get a turn five Scourge, but it's uh, only a one and three, so. I think just getting the body down here is better. Better for sure. He's been hero powering a lot. It's probably good news for us ultimately. Isn't it? Oh, don't even need a coin. Are you kidding me? It actually did hit. That's crazy. That's so crazy. So crazy, it just might work. All right. I honestly almost want him to clear my board here, right? So we have more space for the Scourge. Um, okay, that's going to hit a 1-1, one, one, huh? Doesn't feel too exciting for him, but I'll just trade in here, actually. Um, just so we have more space for Scourge. Play this first, then attack. Wow, pretty pretty big, actually. Yeah, pretty good stuff. Nah, I mean, a few weak rolls, but a 6-6 six, six and a 4-6 six six and a 4-6 six are pretty good. A lot of lifesteal, too. This is that priest card. Nobody knows what the Vision of Darkness does. I know what it does. I've seen it, but I can't tell you. <laughs> I know what it does, but most people don't know what it does. Oh, is Spammy actually clean here? No way. <gasps> oh, okay, it's not clean. Oh my god, dude, that was a gross Spammy almost, though, wasn't it? Oh my god, that was scary. Really scary. Um. 
Okay. Um, God, we have a lot. 14 damage here that's stuck is really nice, but I'm just wondering how to take the rest of this turn. Probably start here. Dark transformation on a hero power is pretty nice here, actually, yeah. This lets me push uh, a lot of pressure. We actually don't have another weapon in hand. We might be better off holding this weapon swing. If I top deck a weapon, though, am I going to want to play it? Maybe, yeah. Maybe it's fine. Down to 17. Monster board. He might have a blood boil to heal this off and clear a lot of this, but... Yeah, he does. Three mana blood boil. That's pretty good. That's going to heal for a billion, and... Ooh, that puts it in Nathrius in hand. That's not good news. Oh, that is very swingy. I need to find a Theatar. Oh, his hands clunky. I mean, the good news right now is that his Denathrius will be really small if he draws it, unless he already has it in hand, right? This this may not actually indicate a Denathrius at all, as far as we know, but... A pretty, pretty terrible feeling time to use this, but so be it. Yeah, that was a really big turn, man. That Blood Boil was really good. It's like, maybe we overcommitted too much into that board. I don't know. We got a lot of free damage off that Scourge either way, so it does feel bad, but... What's that? Six mana? Oh, Hematurge. Okay. Scared. I was like, he doesn't run Theotar, right? He only has Patchwork. Yeah, he's, he has Patchwork for Disruption, but that's all. So we're pretty sure we need to find a Patchwork or a Theotar this turn if I want to win this game, because otherwise Denathrius is going to be really hard to... really hard to beat. And he's back to 35 on the back of the, uh... <gasps> I own Denathrius. Okay, I actually do have Bran Denathrius right now with Coin and Horn of Winter. So that's something to keep in mind. I would still prefer to find my own Dena Theotar if I can, maybe. Although... I don't know. I mean, we assume his Denathrius is not big yet, though, right? So we're not, like, really feeling a ton of of Denathrius pressure yet, I guess. I, I think we'll be okay. Let's just play stuff and go face and assume we're not dead to any sort of Denathrius stuff yet. Uh, so this is currently only five or 10 with Bran, but uh, you know, even this, oh, I'm gonna burn a card by the way, but that's okay. Man, the second blood boil that's a bonus off Hematurge, that's a lot of healing extra. Oh shoot, I hate that I'm burning a card. I need all these cards though, so okay. Hate it. Always makes you feel bad, even though it doesn't matter usually. Okay. Bran Astalor is actually currently way more damage than Bran Denathrius. So that might be interesting. All right, I'm gonna try to keep a couple dead minions in hand here to protect against his patchwork if I can. So I can do this next turn for 32. Um, can I weave anything with it? A glacial advance. Uh, Brand takes me to seven. This pushes me to nine, back to 10. So yes, I can do 36 actually, plus my weapon. So if he doesn't heal, I think I might have 38 damage, right? Brand takes me to seven, horn takes me to nine, coin glacial takes me to... Yeah, that's fine. Okay, that actually stops the weapon attack. Oh, but I have the Thor, Thor Thessarian too. 
Oh, but he has a board. Okay, so this won't happen if he has a board. Doesn't work with a board. We can go spammy maybe on these, but it's a little awkwardly shaped usually. He does have the corpses for this. Another good minion. Uh, Brandon Atreus is only 20, so that's not good enough yet. If I have five to the face, do I have it? Oh, that's interesting. Does five to the face matter at all? 30? Not really, but I kind of want to do it just so that I have the... Well, no, because he has Denathrius, right? So no, I don't think we can risk it yet. Dang, my hand is too full, man. Oh, shoot. I mean, there's, there's 12. So that leaves uh, 25... 29 guaranteed no i can't i can't do it early though i really can't do it early all right i mean yes these are a little scary but he doesn't have the corpses at the moment he obviously can at least make enough for one of these to recopy, but I'm I'm hoping maybe that that's fine and I just kind of set up the win. I don't know. Okay, that's not lethal or anything, right? That's just for a clear. So there's 11 on board. That's 36 total, right? So I, I think we're fine that based on the way this works, right? Because the, the reborns won't get hit. 11 on board, yeah. Should be fine. With the glacial in particular, right? Oh, in fact, I can hit this for even more damage. Is that not lethal yet? Am I crazy? I thought it was gonna be. Did I do some really bad math? Oh, it's one off, but I have it. Okay. All right. I didn't mean to BM. I thought that was lethal. Cool. Great, dude. Amazing. That was scary. Sorry. I didn't mean to BM that spell at the end. I miscounted. GG, dude. <laughs> I thought it was 36... Oh, oh, that's 36 with the thing, too. Oh, yeah, it was. Okay, yeah, I did miscount. I, dis I did miscount. <laughs> no, I am just, I am just bad. We had a big round, guys. We went 1 1 1 1 2 0 2 0 with two bonus points. I got the five bonus, and Meaty got the five bonus. I feel bad these blood decks just seem, you know, I think everybody's playing him well. I think, I think Candela played that really, really well, frankly. Like, he held that blood boil perfectly. I'm going to actually tell him that. I'm going to tell him that. By the way, I I think you played that super well. Holding that blood boil into my second board. Post Scourge had me reeling. Just tough breaks on the runes. Thanks. Where does that put you overall? I don't know. It depends on how unholy did. We came in winning, and I think we had a pretty good round there, so... I suspect we're still probably winning. <laughs> hey, I think you are a beard man now, too. So, Tice. Triple blood. That makes me nervous. Tons of life gain, right? He's got the, like, gain 10 health. He's got no munchers. He's got Denathrius, of course. He's got tons of removal. He's got blood boils. So this one's going to be a lot harder to win on just like damage and pressure. We've done it a few times. It's not impossible. We've beaten blood that way, I think, at least once. But it's hard. If he gets his good healing package, going to be tough to win. So the other way we've won this is scamming. Crazy big uh, Astalors, crazy big Denathrius is stealing his Denathrius or eating it. 
so that he doesn't have an Anathrius. That's, I, I think, going to be our more likely win condition uh, than, than just sort of the tempo plan. But we'll just, again, we'll have to play to our hand and, and see how the games are going and unfolding and stuff. Um, and see how it goes. Yeah, he's got blood boil, corpse explosion, and spammy. So we're never really going to stick a board. Bone guard commanders are really crazy threats. Soul stealers also for removal. He's just got endless removal here. Um, so I think I'm going to want card draw. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to want card generation. Let's see. Does he have anything that this is good against? Because this is decent card generation. He does. Hematurge. Astalor, Finley. Yeah, he's got a few targets. Okay. But keep a Sylvanas early. What am I stealing? He's got an 8 8. He's got a Mutanus. Could be a big Mutanus steal. No muncher. Yeah, I think I think I need to play this for value more than anything else. So we're gonna keep some of our bigger cards here. A Denathrius early would be pretty sick to see, and card draw would be sick to see. Uh and Theotar and Patchwork would be sick to see. He has Mutanus and Patchwork, but no Theotar. So if I can keep minions in hand. We might be able to play around both Mutanus and Patchwork a little better. That's good to know. I'm, I'm happy to have card draw. Uh, when I saw Tice playing both us and on the mainstream, he did seem like he was often holding his Denathrius pretty long and like trying to greet it. So that might give us more opportunity to uh, steal it. If he keeps it in hand for a long time, right? We could have more ways to, to deal with it. Oof. Horn of Winter gives me shenanigans, I think. So we take the Horn of Winter, I guess. I would have preferred value here. I just don't see us getting there on damage early. So I don't think Glacial's worth it. Bonebreaker, he doesn't run a lot of early minions. So Bonebreaker doesn't seem worth it either. This allows me like those crazy brand and Athreus plays and stuff. That would be a good target for that Bonebreaker, actually. Wow, okay. This hand is turning into a little more of a minion hand than I both expected and perhaps want at this stage. It's because it's kind of split now. I'm only getting a little bit more for for value, but I'm getting kind of this minion hand. I mean, it's good to infuse that Sylvanas either way, I guess. Oh, he didn't attack first. Uh, Not punished, though. Bravery. I guess he wanted to keep it alive into the clear. That makes sense. He wasn't going to go face. I guess you just take the risk there, yeah? Makes sense to me. I like it, Sir Tice. Oh, we're getting so much damage, dude. Yeah, this hand's very split. That's bad news. That's bad news. I'm thinks fine. This is not what we stood for. Oof. Um... Would love to steal that if I could, but I doubt it. I mean, I can't. I can hero power horn of winter to steal that actually next turn. That might be worth it because it means I get it in Athreus early, and he does not get it in Athreus early if he doesn't already have one. So it's a good. It's a good steal target, I think. Oh, he's not even breaking the shield yet. I guess that doesn't matter. I don't have another target to hit anyway with the hero power, do I? Oh, but this might hit it. <gasps> Don't hit it twice. Oh no, it hit it twice. So now I can't hero power it. Oh no, dude. <laughs> no. That is such a bad roll. I can't, I can't hero power it now. It's gonna hero power infuse one. Uh. I don't want to just pass my turn, so I'm going to have to play some stuff here. I, I, there's a chance maybe he doesn't kill it off yet. I, I don't know if he knows how sneaky I'm planning to get here. <sighs> I don't know. I think we I think we try, though. I think we try to get sneaky, honestly. Let's just see. I mean, he's gonna trade it in, right? But it's okay. There's really not a huge advantage to killing it. And just in case he decides not to kill it off, it's a big play. So really unfortunate that both those pings hit the tail end, though. That sucks. That sucks. 
Bit of a tough roll. Even just one would have been fine. Yeah, he's trading it in. He's not greeting it. So now Sylvanas might actually be able to steal a Denathrius if he plays it early. Um, there's some upside there. Am I overdrawing? No. <sighs> Oof, that is a big patchwork with the Astalor in hand too. Yeah, we take that as soon as we can. There's just too many good targets, right? We know there's at least one premium target in hand. This clears a 5-5, five five, which is really nice. You really don't get a better time for a patchwork than this. I think we got it. Did we get Astalor? It looked like it, maybe. <gasps> Bran? Oh, no, we got the Bone Guard. Okay, so he has the Astalor, but no Bran, which still limits his burst potential a little bit here. I don't mind that too much. Bone Guard's still good to clear. Just at this point, I don't actually have one of my, like, two damage AoEs, so... Maybe not so bad. Yeah, guys, a lot of you saying pass, don't play. That's not the move. That's way too... I give up too much, right? I lose. Oh. Dang, dude. Sylvanas gone. How sad. Very heartbroken. Okay. And he's at 41. I'm, I'm really not getting enough value here, I'm afraid. Another Glacial Advance, man. That's 12 damage I'm putting together. 15 with Howling Blast. Astalor is also available soon. Like, is this suddenly becoming a, like, Glacial Advance hand? Oh, I don't love it, but boy. They all suck, right? So this is the best card. Okay, we got a long way to go, man. 38's a lifetime here. Um, next turn would be good to play Astalor in case we hit it hit like a brand soon. I didn't lose my brand, right? I ate his brand. What did his eat? Yeah, Chill Fallen. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, all right, Howling Blast here, actually a lifesaver. Jeez. Well, honestly, we also have a decent spammy here, maybe. No, I think Howling Blast is fine, right? I mean, Spammy's not good against many other boards. Howling Blast can be good against other boards. Uh, if I hit for the Spammy, what's that? That thing's going to five. Still doesn't really feel like a good clear on it, does it? No, this is fine. We take this. We draw first, though. Horn again. Oh, my God. So many freaking horns, dude. Am I cool to take eight, man? He's got that Denathrius, we know. I, I, I don't think so, right? I think we just deal with it next turn. It's frozen, right? So we're not in like a huge hurry here. Maybe between a spammy or something, it should be easy to kill. Um, okay. All right, just playing that, setting up the Denathria soon, maybe. 16. I mean, oh my God. How much damage is that? That's 10, he's got 46. This is 32. Do I have enough mana to like noggling as well? Six. This is another two. Is this lethal? 34 and eight's 42. I have 32. Do I get to the 12 is the question. Oh my God, I don't know. I think I go anyway though. It's gotta be enough, right? Cause this discounts by four. <sighs> I 
Actual scam, dude. Actual scam. Are you kidding me? The brand top deck to scam the win. Actually insane. Oh my god. Actually scammed. <laughs> dude, come on. That is gross, guys. Oh my god. Ty is going to be pissed. He's gonna be really pissed. Astalor is so gross, man. Oh my god. I even had I had more damage, dude. I had another four. We didn't even get to play. Oh my god. The Lich King. The best the Lich King. I have 14 mana. I actually really kind of had 18 mana, right? If the, if, well, not exactly, because the discounts don't always have even numbers, I guess. But sort of. This is a really good minion hand. Let's try this. Uh, we're not giving up too much value from it either, right? Because both of these have the potential to generate a lot of things. Chillfall and Baron's really good at, at making us cards. So, Bridgedara is not bad there either. Just absolutely crazy, man. Bran Astalor feels kind of broken. It, it's like a Denathrius that you don't have to feed, you know? That's the crazy thing, is you don't have to feed it. Okay, he's got a... Is he even running this? Yeah, two Noxious Cadavers, yeah. Two Mistress as well. Man, they really went for, like, one-drops here. I guess they were probably expecting a little more Smork than we're really delivering. Uh, okay, double threes, I think we actually go here. I wasn't going to coin until I hit a, a, a fill on the mana here, but... Having this in the play uh, to die for the Vizier is really nice, too, so it works out well if he kills it for us. Which I think that often happens, but if not, maybe we can trade. Yeah, I think I think we can trade here for the Vizier for sure. This is still good math on board for us. Might even get a playable discount thing here, like that Plague card that kills that and makes a 2-2. Um, no... Unholy Frenzy, not worth. Icy Touch, I don't think worth. I like Remorseless because it draws cards. Like, yes, we're currently on this kind of minion-based game plan, but that may not always stick. Depending on how these things interact, we might just do this next turn. If these both live, if he kills us with something else. He may just trade in, I don't know. They go face, that would make that feel good too, right? Guys, that made me nervous, like, going for that kill last game. Like, man... Oh, scary, dude. Scary game. Have your opinions about the cards changed much now that you've played them? Uh, I'm really wishing I gave Astalor five stars like I thought about. I gave him four, and I I think I made it. I, I even mentioned at the end of the review, I was really close to giving this guy five stars. And I didn't. <laughs> I'm thinking now perhaps I should have. Astalor feels really strong to me. Um... Magic Shell with Sculptor is kind of a neat idea, but the thing is, Tice's deck's running Corpse Explosion, Blood Boil, and Spammy Arcanist, and Soul Stealer, all of which probably still deal with an anti-Magic Shell board, so I think we take something that's swingier as opposed to something that is um, more about developing that wide board. He just has such a crazy amount of removal that I don't think we want to risk it. There's that Talon again. Now, we already do have our Denathrius. We kind of have the, like, Denathrius advantage at the moment, which is nice. Remorseless Noggling's pretty good here, right? Finish on a Harbinger. like drawing cards. I like killing stuff. I like making stuff. I don't actually hate weapon here either, but... It's a good little board. This is enough that he might have to actually use a removal card, right? Then we have the reload with Rhyme Sculptor Bone Breaker. Next turn feels good if he gets a minion down. Oh, no Muncher hits a 1-1. Okay, that's not too bad for us, I'd say. Um... Yeah, we're probably okay with like a Glacial here. It's a little clunky, we're healing a lot, but hitting him multiple times here doesn't actually impact us much because he's still at 40, right? So in other words, I, I can use like a Bone Breaker and not feel bad about it is the 
is the notion. I wonder if I'm better off using a Howling Blast or not. This has a really good play into that 8-8 guy. I guess we'll just Glacial for now, but man, the, the problem with the Glacial is I just don't have a lot to do. If I go here, I burn a card. Is there ever a world where it's still just Rhyme Sculptor and hit? I think it might be a world, yeah. Kind of hate losing the 4-4, four, four, but I'm, I'm pumping the Denathrius anyway. Isn't like the end of the world as a play is concerned, right? It's fine. He's at 10, soon to be 14. Bran, if we can find one with some nice uh, Horn of Winters would be cool. All right, there's a chill extra 10. And the blood boil is good too, yeah, okay. Boy. Suddenly 50. Suddenly 46, actually. Dude, my hand got really bad really suddenly here. Look at this. Ugh. I think we have to play this for draw. I'm actually going to burn a card unless I burn a Horn of Winter, though. I'm going to go Brandon Athreus. I actually need both Horn of Winters is the problem. Is he running? Maybe I could just uh, Frost Strike a Ghoul. He doesn't have... Does he have a weapon? No, no weapon. Only cantaloupes running the weapon, I think, yeah. So a face freeze doesn't really increment us at all. There is some advantage to killing this off, but it actually nets... Well, no, it doesn't net any. Um, yeah, I guess we'll kill this off then, huh? Shouldn't have hero powered first in that case. I changed my line halfway through there. Another glacial advance. Are you kidding me, dude? These are just so crazy, but I I need card draw, but I don't need it now. My hand is too full Your sword is mine. All right I'm actually maybe running out of frost spells god. I need a deck tracker. I've drawn a lot already I don't have any I've left. I think there's still like some natural remorseless winters in there. Maybe Oh, dude, he didn't have a lot of corpses. Whoa, you don't see that often. That's kind of wacky. Uh, looks like we're going to take an 8-8 here, by the way. I don't have a deal, a way to deal with this. I could horn into a freeze, uh, but I don't want to. There's some card draw, finally. If I horn into a freeze, I lose Bran Denathrius. If I don't run into a freeze, I burn a card. My rule is eternal. I don't have a brand yet. I have 22 cards in my deck. <sighs> I take eight. I, I actually think I need to freeze it. I think taking eight's a little too much. I, I don't know, because he might have a natural Denathrius still too, right? Or did we even kill a Talon? Oh god, my games are blending together already. Did we kill a Talon? We did, right? So he does have a Denathrius. He has the Denathrius in hand, so yeah, we can't take eight. We killed the Talon, right? I'm, I'm fairly certain. So we may have to use some of these Glacials as removal soon. Oh boy, don't hit Denathrius, please. Spammy is a good hit. That's We're relieved to see that, yeah. Very relieved to see the Spammy get hit there. This feels like an open with a Overseer again, maybe? Overseer Remorseless hit, puts us at 22 with a board. That's not too bad. Uh, in that case, we'd want to play the Frigidara first to make sure we draw correctly. Oh, that's too much mana. We don't have that much mana. Um, okay, it's okay if a Patchwork lives, though. That's not the end of the world. See what we find. I don't. I don't know if we have frost spells left. I. I. This could whiff. I don't know. Okay, it doesn't. Ah, uh, this is perfect too. Yeah. Really nice. Does this ever go face? Nah. Four matters against an Atreus, right? It matters. It doesn't go face. Okay. What is this? Twelve? No, we only have four. Ten. Twelve. 14 like the, the, you can see the damage kind of coming together right it's it's getting there man we're getting closer but not quite there yet astalor is a big heal again okay 
This seems like a great remorseless winter board though. Probably the best we could possibly get. That Astellor is gonna deal at least 16 though, man. It might be a lethal. That Astellor could kill me, right? I don't have any way to kill him, but I could maybe take this Anathrius to try to stay alive. Does he have a Bran? Oh man, my brain is melting. All these games are blending together. Did he play a Bran? Or have we seen a Bran? Well, he doesn't have a way to play Bran Astellor though, naturally, right? Only we do from the horns. I guess it's not impossible, but pretty unlikely. Um. Okay, let's... Let's start here. I'm gonna greed one more turn. I hope that Denathrius is not too big. I'm a little nervous for sure. That is an excellent draw, by the way. I feel like I'm running out of, of, of frost spells. I'm a little nervous to commit another one. Okay. I think he'll use Astalor to clear the board here, right? Um, and then I, I probably have to Denathrius because I, I think I'm too low. Because we're, we're like nine, we're, we're, we're very sure he has Denathrius, right? I killed that Talon, I think. I, I think that was this game. I had like a, I think I used like a plague thing on it, maybe. There's like three minions on board. I think that's right. He has a lot of cards though, man. He's not lacking options here. Absolutely not lacking options. Yeah, there's the Ask Lord to clear as we thought. Yeah, this this kind of has to be an Anathrius. I wish it were a win condition, but we have the we have the Astalor as a win condition if we need it. Actually, if we hit a brand right now, that oh no, no, we don't have the final Astalor stage. Never mind. I was gonna say that might be lethal, but we're not there yet. Not quite time. Yeah, th this just has to happen, I think. Um God, it's actually, it's not even that far off from killing him. But 15 is too risky. I got to do this. Um, Yeah, we'll hit face and set up for a win too, right? I don't have lethal, do I? Like, I have two of these. They do a lot of damage. Um, I have... I go horn into... Glacial is four... This is one mana, that's two mana on the horn, that's eight. No, we're, we're actually really close to lethal, though. Dang, dude, we're so close to lethal. Not time yet, though. Now, I think he might Denathrius to heal and clear the same, right? I actually think there's a decent chance he just countered Denathrius is here, which is going to put us in a tight spot, honestly. Like, I don't have a great way to handle that, but, but we were just dead if we didn't do this. So it's not like I'm in love with this play or anything. I just think it was kind of mandatory. Um, I don't know if his Anathrius is super jacked, but it's pretty big because he played like that Bone Guard Commander already. That was post Talon, right? And then he could have even had it sooner as far as we know. So yeah, his is pretty jacked. It's probably like 20 already. Oh, not playing it though. Okay. No Muncher's a big heal, but does uh, die at least. 23? I don't know if I can do 23, but man, Bran uh, Astalor again next turn is pretty gross. Um, I can't deal 23, right? I have 2, 10, 12. Bran kind of makes that a little more, but it's not it's not 24 yet. Um, Okay, if I play this, he's probably going to know that that the brand is a lethal setup, but I, I mean, I have to do it at some point, right? I can't just not play it because he knows it's a setup. Could maybe keep Rinnethal in hand to hedge against like Mutanus that he has. So I don't really need the Rinnethal. I could just dump a spell instead. I think he's going to heal off Denathrius though, right? I think this is fine. Let's not get fancy here. I kind of expect him to clear this again. So this is 32. Uh, we go to 7. We go back to 9. I can play one Glacial with it, but then I can't play the second Glacial. Yeah, there's the Nathrius. 19, not 20. Close, though. 
close. Um, okay, so the question here is how do we deal with this Denathrius, right? That's 51 health. I only have like 30, 36 or something right now. So I don't have a great way to answer this. I mean, do I have to play Astalor here just to kill the Denathrius? What's his other big heal? He has a uh, no munchers. He has, he has, uh, what's that five drop called? I'm looking at Team Frost. No wonder I can't find it. He has blood boils. Those don't heal a ton. I might have to go here, guys, just to clear this. I, I can clear it with like other kinds of damage too, but this both clears and creates a board, which I think is, is favorable. It's, you know, it's again, it's a little early, but we're just kind of have to. The good news is he doesn't have any like crazy big heals left, which I think is nice. We'll go ahead and use the brand to get two extra or, or a little extra here, right? I take four, but that's fine with his Denathrius gone. We're not as worried about that. Okay, so he's at 15. Blood Boil would hear like six. Get 21. We have eight, 10, 12, kinda. I mean, we're... I don't, do I have any big damage cards left other than just this stuff? 13 cards in deck, I have. <sighs> Not really, right? I'm just gonna have to try to get there on chip damage stuff, I guess. Let's see if he can even deal with this board easily though, cause you know, if an 8-8 sticks, obviously that's, it's gonna be nice. He has corpse explosion though, so I, I think his board usually clears this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, that clears too. Okay. Uh, is this lethal sometimes? I have 10. I have 12. Oh my god, dude. So close, right? Oh, sadly, that doesn't do any damage. Ugh. Really, really sad result. Oh boy. Really sad result. Oh, sword is also really close. Oh, that's a good card to get, just not right now yet. Okay. That does two to face anyway, remember, so hitting the minion's fine. I think we can take five. His deck doesn't have a lot of burst damage without Denathrius or Astalor, right? He's just, we have, we have time. So he's at 11. We have 11 available, maybe more. Can use this to restore order next turn if I need to clear a board. Can use this as a bailout for value at some point too. Um, oh boy. Uh, that's actually fine. Yeah, that's actually good news. That means we just win, right? That's totally fine. He shouldn't have any zero mana heals, right? So. Wow, dude. Wow, dude. Wow, dude. Yes! Oh my god! I feel like I actually played that game really well. I'm really proud of myself. I feel like I played that game really well. I had to make a couple tough calls. <laughs> dude, dude, I am, I am so nervous. <laughs> uh, where is Tice? I wanna say GG to Tice. GG dude, sorry that's uh, such a tough matchup. My brand game one was so obscene. Always an honor to play you. You've been one of my favorite people to watch for so long. Guys, we got two matches left. My next match is against No Hands. This is another chance 
to get the like bonus points because we beat no hands 2-0 last time nah dude honestly legit <laughs> legitimately have gotten very lucky i'm due for a bad luck streak okay um so his deck is blood blood and holy his disruption is mutanus and patchwork so that's stuff we have to keep in mind for denathrius his late game is denathrius bone guard commander he also has the talon his mid game removal is actually the same as tice's pretty scary corpse explosion blood boil and spammy so a lot of stuff there he's got merloculas for healing but really just denathrius and merlocula to heal so no no munchers and no corrupted ashbringer oh blood boil heals too yeah this actually happened to cantaloupe earlier too same thing your team is cursed yag hath abandoned us game restart okay Oh, I had two restarts today. That one hurts a little more, but still totally fine. Who cares, right? <laughs> Hopefully we can get another good hand back. That was a uh, that was a pretty spicy hand to lose. I think we had a good early minion start. This one does not appear to be quite as spicy. Uh spammy, I like I said before, I don't mind keeping one early board clear, but I, I think I need a, a quicker start to get some chip damage down early. Rhyme Fang Sword is one of those that's like, okay, but it's really not what we're looking for, so. Not really what we're what we're trying to find. We need early minions. Uh, yeah, this isn't quite as good. Not quite as spicy. Rhyme Sculptor's nice, but that's turn five, right? I mean, this is probably okay to react to some of his stuff, but definitely liked our previous hand better. If we could go back in time here, I think we would. I think we'd trade i think we'd trade back <laughs> sucks the reconnect isn't working by the way that's that's usually not an issue at all for these dcs you know you just reconnect and keep playing but something about this early client i think is causing the causing the headaches here mm, was the other restart early in the game i think it was like turn four and turn five for both of them yeah Pretty early. All right, well, spammy suddenly looking a little more interesting, isn't it? Just wish I had something good to do this turn. Yeah, this hand is so much worse. <laughs> it's okay, we shouldn't focus on that. This is the game we're playing. This is the only one that matters, so it doesn't matter if it's better or worse, right? It's okay. Uh, still gonna be a really nice spammy, yeah. Thankfully, wiping this out really nicely. I mean, remorseless is good too, but with the with the reborns in particular, spammy just feels so nice here. He does go back to forty, which is a little tough, but I have the three four advantage. We have a really good turn five follow up as well, so this is a big swing potential for us. Now he does have, as we've said, let's see, uh, Corpse Explosion and Blood Boil for five mana removal cards, right? So actually a pretty decent chance here to, to make a good removal play uh, if I go for the Rhyme Sculptor. That said, I mean, what else am I gonna do? I guess I could go Thessarian and Noxious Cadaver. Try to bait out one removal card first. This is really nice on these tutus. Yeah, I think I like this a little better actually. Let's... Um, Let's bait this a bit. Because this is a little stickier and more annoying. Turn six, five cards in hand. My Sylvanas is going to have any good targets. Mutanus sometimes. Talon's actually a pretty good target. Denathrius if, if we have to, but we certainly would prefer not, not that one, I think. Okay, sure. Um, I think we just ignore this and go face, right? I don't like making too much board because I know I'm playing into removal here, but I need the chip damage. Oh, crap. Um, Vampiric Blood draws a card. I think that's probably the play. 
I don't have the corpses right now, technically, but but I, I think card draw matters the most, right? I don't want to develop any more minions in case they get... Uh, like, we got to eat one removal before we overdevelop. I mean, this is still plenty of board in the meantime, so... Let's just eat a dude. Eat a removal dude. I guess a frost strike would have been pretty good here. I didn't actually think about it. I kind of thought this was my damage card, to be honest. I need to concentrate. I, I think this would have been pretty good. There honestly aren't that many good targets for the frost strike anyway, so... I, I guess I was kind of hoping that if, if I'm going to make a bunch of 2-2s, two maybe this just gets cleaned up after value trade anyway, but... I don't know. That's a spicy target either way, so... Probably worth it. It's like... Oh, my stomach's growling. Can you guys hear that on the mic? <laughs> it's notably loud, I feel like. Um... Okay, there's the blood boil. All right, that's what we we're worried about. We wanted to bait one of those out. This is going to give him some two twos, which gives us the good remorseless winter here. So maybe this will actually work out saving this frost strike, huh? Kind of seems decent here. We do actually want to trade these minions in weirdly. Um, I guess they both net one damage advantage, though, don't they? Let's just see what happens here. Uh, yeah, an Astellor is fine, actually. Let's, let's do this. We net two and we net one here. I mean, they're going to get a 2-2 two -two off of uh, off of this 3-2, but I don't, I don't think that's the end of the world, right? Do I put in a Noggling here? They just used their Blood Boil. I, I'm cool to play this kind of whenever. I think so, just to fill the curve, right? It's fine. We don't really care about the life. The card is fine, so let's just fill the curve. I, I don't think this is too much of an overcommitment, because remember, we're actually losing two of these minions. We're only going to have three things on board. It's really not too bad. Okay. And I, I think he's pretty unlikely to have another blood boil, specifically. Spammy, certainly possible still. Um, I think we could maybe see a uh, corpse explosion, but that's th this board shape's not ideal for that anyway. Uh, okay, here's some one ones. Soul breaker again. All right. Hopefully this the Sarian goes face, dude. No, but that's the next best target, perhaps. It's a good shape for my howling blast removal here. Uh, I like Howling Blast Astalor, right? This thing doesn't die, though. Do we care about that? No, we don't really care, do we? We still sit in his face, don't we? Just locks down the weapon, so it's kind of the same as hitting that minion. Yeah, I think this is fine. Astalor is 16 already with no brand. Not yet. I mean, we got to get to turn 10, but, you know, soon-ish. Should be fine. Hey, Macro, dude, that's a lot of gifted subs. I'm sorry I'm not really able to call that out too much. I'm really trying to concentrate here, but I do see that, man. That's really, really nice. Oh, Bone Guard's really good. Dang. Uh, we probably just Sylvanas that guy, but unfortunately, I don't really answer the other guys very well. Like a Howling Blast doesn't kill them without a Thalnos, you know? I mean, it's fine, I think. We're still happy to make this play. Perhaps we could Frost Strike first to see what we find. I, I don't really need to play a Howling Blast, so... I don't think anything here changes my mind much. Uh, Horn of Winter with Astalor allows us to make some pretty spicy plays, right? We'll go ahead and do that. So this is not maybe the best target that Sylvanas has, but it's not a bad one either. It's not bad. Better targets would be what, like Denathrius? Yeah, maybe Mutanus. I'm going to keep this in hand, by the way. Speaking of Mutanus and Patchwork, I need as many minions as I can to hedge against that for Astalor here. So although the the one two does offer a little bit of a board advantage, I think hedging against his disruption is more valuable at this stage of the game. Blood Boil again. Okay, that's a little bit of healing, yeah. Rinathal looks pretty weak, though. I guess he's just gonna run into this, right? With all these one twos? Maybe not? No, he's not. Okay. He trusts. 
you trust and you know what it kind of works because i don't have a great i don't have a great howling blast here do we trust astalor with a noxious yes we do this is worth a lot of damage it does remove my finisher a little bit but i have some face damage available next turn seven so we trust very likely to handle enough of these that I like hero power or whatever we'll get through still okay um we'll play them in here card draw is really valuable the one here does that change any break points so we have seven nine i can still get ten next turn man the one actually kind of changes break points um oh but he's healing four so no not really no he's healing another four so no it doesn't change any break points on board in that case we uh i think we play this for for more stuff right Digging with Sir Finley on two cards. That seems like it's a good... There's no, like, Denathrius. Uh, he doesn't have the big removal guy that's triple blood. He's got another bone guard, maybe. Okay. Woo! All right. We got there even with the regame. Nice. Scary. Oh, uh, Goonie thinks the sub, man. Yeah, it seems like these blood decks run out of steam, you know? I, I think that's been the biggest advantage of Frost. We have a lot of card draw. And I heard Meaty say that early in our practice session. He's like, guys, we have so much card draw, man. It's a big deal. It's a big deal to have this much card draw. Now, the good news is we won a game, so we can't lose our points. Remember, if we got, if we got reverse swept here, we lost our points. We were really sad. But now we can't get reverse swept, so I think we're happy. Uh, Remorseless Winner is a potential keep against his Unholy deck. We saw a lot of those like possessifier boards. I'm just sad that I already have the cesarean, which I like more. Um, but this also draws a card, which is good. I don't have coin, so two fours is a little clunky. I guess we'll just trust our draw, right? Let's let's mulligan for a better opener. We want a two drop or a three drop if we can. Three drop sword is fine. Defrost is the draw we talked about, so that's fine too. Not playing it on two, of course, here, but just happy to have some consistent reload. I think there's a good chance for us to outvalue him late. I will probably Thalnos on two here just to tempo it and get a uh, a draw and a... Um... I don't know though, man. It's so good. Maybe that's not true. I don't think so. <laughs> okay. Remorseless is spicy, isn't it? We'll go ahead and eat the mistress now just to set up for next turn remorseless looks pretty good actually don't want to hit the remorseless here Ugh, of course <laughs> we might be able to go face though push it to two and then make a spicy play i guess um remorseless and spammy by the way i got a pee guy i should have taken a pee break i i, I don't want to do it between games but i'm gonna pee my pants if peeing your pants is cool i'm regis kilbin With spammy, I think we can use the remorseless, right? Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Ah. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't even defrost. I don't have the corpse that I want, man. It's okay. We'll just float a mana. It's fine. It's not like we lost much there, ultimately. Astalor, sure. We'll just the Sarian here. That's fine. I somehow still don't have the corpses I want, but uh, I'm not going to like hero power to force one. The Sarian will take care of us soon. Defrost again. All right. That helps us win late, I hope. I mean, you know, we can always lose late against an Athreus and stuff in this matchup. It's not guaranteed that we win late, but having cards certainly helps. Now, he has a really full hand compared to what we saw last game, so that's scary. Really spooky. I love that Cesarean does so much damage even when he doesn't, you know? Like, he did so much work there. <laughs> Uh, let's start here because we can hit a Rhyme dude and play that. That'd be pretty nice. Vizier's not bad. It's a good backup plan. Uh, do I ever play a Tomb Guardians now? No, he has too much stuff, right? I don't think that's worth it. Probably just take a Defrost again, huh? Just thinking maybe Thalnos is better. We do have Thalnos Howling Blast, which is pretty nice, though, so I guess it's just this. It's really weak, but... It's okay. 
We'll save weapon without another weapon in hand. Sylvanas is what? Six off. Okay, that's a big deal. She's not even close yet. Oh. Eh. Sylvanas would be the good hit there, but nothing disastrous either way. Two spammies. Okay. Alrighty, spammies. School teacher's really nice. Frost strike. Uh, let's see what the school teacher gets us. We might get a good frost strike opportunity. Anybody? <sighs> Defrost again, dude. I have so much card draw. Is it too much? Is the question we're getting into now? It might be a little too much. And I guess the other question is, do I play this for one ever? Feels a little weird to overcommit into this patchwork for like removal right now, you know? Uh, this turn is like the first really clunky turn I feel like we've had so far. I have enough cards, I'm gonna play this for one. Okay, that works out nicely. All right, so we got it in at three. He already played one patchwork, but he still has Mutanus, right? So it's not like this is safe in hand, but. This game's a little shaky right now, guys. I don't I don't think we're in the best position, to be honest. We're, uh, I mean, we've got some good chip damage, but that can go away really fast, right? He can heal a ton in this deck, so. Yeah, he's taking a lot of damage though, geez. Thanos Howling Blast may finally come into play here. Yeah, it's a pretty good one, actually. Uh, Pretty good one, yeah. Oh my god, dude. We have one uh, Horn of Winter already, too. Oh, this only deals four, doesn't it? Oh, okay. For some reason, I was thinking it dealt five right now. I don't know why. Actually, do we ever just slam face with these? No, 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 no. No, 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 we certainly don't. Uh, Remorseless is really good. Yeah, we like damage, right? It does damage, so. Defrost playable? No, no, no. Okay. 25. I'm a little scared of Denathrius. He's played quite a few minions, but we're still a few turns away, so not a disaster yet or a risk just yet. Um. Okay. This is a decent Frigidara. I'd love to find that other, uh... Horn of Winter, although I'm gonna have a hand size problem here. I don't glacial first. I guess I could just glacial face, huh? Just to create a turn here. Bone Breaker also fine. Okay. There's the other Horn of Winter. So now we have Brand Denathrius set up for next turn. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, that's some decent reach more than Thessarian, right? It's a lot of mana, I guess, but decent reach. I'm going to burn a card, but I don't, I don't think we care, right? We, uh, we're set up pretty well here in hand. I don't think we're going to need a lot more than this necessarily. Still, things can go badly, right? He can, oh, he can't Denathrius yet, actually. Never mind. Maybe they can't go badly. Um, I don't know. We'll see. This is 20 right now if uh, if this minion dies. If he spends time killing this minion, will he heal enough and or play enough health to stay alive against Brand Denathrius is the question, right? Well, that's a good sign because he's digging for plays. I don't, I don't think we're sad about that. Spending mana, losing a resource, and digging for a different option. I mean, he may find the option, right? But ultimately it's not likely to get something that's a perfect fit for this sort of board state is there My blood, oh that could be like a quick 10 health man that's pretty nice do you guys think i ever play uh brand denathrius here just to heal out of range i mean he can't have a big denathrius because he just shuffled his hand away so i don't think his burst damage is going to be high right uh okay how much damage do we have i can clear this he's at 19 then I hit that's 14 and he has 
7, 10, 24. I actually don't have lethal here, right? Like, I'm not wrong, right? Hit here. This is always happening. Let's just do this. This is always happening. He's at 14. 14, 7, 21, 24. And this only deals 18 right now. I don't have any way to weave in additional mana, right? No, I don't I don't think so. I think we just do this then and I mean actually do we just have damage here? Hold up. Seven plus two is nine. I don't think quite yet, but let's just do this. He's locked down on everything. He can't have a big enough. Oh actually. Oh my god, dude. Let's freaking go, dude. Oh my god, dude! Dude, I'm 6-0! I'm 6-0! I have 6-0! I have, uh, I think 40... Oh my god, dude. I legit... Guys. <laughs> guys. Guys, I have 45 points. And I'm tied for the best record in the tournament with Dog right now. Holy crap, dude. 45 points. Because I've got a win streak right now. I've won four straight matches. Dude. <laughs> I can't believe it, dude. I'm just... Blood has just been such a good matchup for me. And I'm only playing Blood today, right? But that said, Aveline is the only game we've lost to a Blood deck. Yesterday, Aveline went one and one with me. Why can't I see this? Oh, here it is. Uh, yeah, we went one and one, and I went two and oh. I, I literally am 13 and one against Blood right now, I think. So I got really lucky today that we're playing Blood. Really lucky. Because I could have been playing Unholy and been losing a lot. I just have never had this kind of Hearthstone experience. I, I have to go back and recognize how lucky we've gotten so many times. Like, we've scammed Tice so hard with Bran, Astalor, every game. Like, Tice is going to hate that combo because it's just we do, like, some obscene 40 damage turn or whatever. Horde of Winter is gross. And and by the way, I didn't even make my deck. Meaty really did all the, the lion's share of the work on the deck. So Meaty really deserves the credit. I'm just playing a really good deck, I think. You know, guys, we almost didn't have Sylvanas in our deck, but she's been so good. And same thing for Theotar. We almost didn't have Theotar. We, for a long time, we had two Death Chillers, the little Flame Waker guys, and we cut them for Sylvanas and Theotar at the last minute, like literally right before we submitted our decks. We didn't even play test it. We were just like, yeah, these sound good. And they've both stolen multiple games. Sylvanas has ripped the game outright against Fino and, and certainly contributed to a couple more. And then Theotar has ripped a couple games too from stealing Denathrii. So Aveline, she has greed. She has Theotar, Butanus, and Patchwork. All great disruptors for us, right? Really hard to play around all three of those disruption cards. She has a ton of healing with no muncher, corp or blood boil, Denathrius. Merloculas, I, I technically are healing right. She has removal with asphyxiate. She has a tough deck anyway, but I like this curve. This is a good curve. We'll we'll ask the lore on two here too if uh, if no other opportunity presents itself, right? Oh, really good bone breaker, yeah. Nice. With the Rhyme Fang sword in hand, you know, we're a little weapon heavy here, but. <laughs> Do you have your draw your sweatshirt drawstring in your mouth? Yes, I always chew on these. I'm kinda like Michael Jordan, who like sticks his tongue out when he's like shooting free throws or something. Whenever I draw or do something like that, like writing, I'll stick my tongue out. And whenever I'm concentrating on stuff, I'll often like chew on my shirt or a drawstring or something. It like helps me concentrate, I feel like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
yeah we'll we'll uh well, no, this is a pretty good hero power, actually, right? We'll hero power. We have coin uh, four into four. So no real reason to rush on this or anything yet. We've got a good hero power here, so. so she's got a hematurge card. She's got low hand... I think low hand size is definitely one of the ways we win this one. Because if she doesn't have a lot of good plays or choices, um, we're going to start to net a little incremental advantage, right? Every time she has kind of an awkward hero power turn, floats mana, that's a turn for me to weave in two damage, three damage, hit for one, hit for two, stick a couple minions, you know, we, we start putting together a, a solid turn in that case. Here's another downturn for her, man. What is she gonna have? She has five mana removal plays, let's see, blood boil and corpse explosion? She actually doesn't even have enough corpses to kill a school teacher right now with corpse explosions, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, this doesn't really cheese as well on a Noggling because it costs the mana. I guess the icy touch here's probably the best bet, but but frankly, I don't love any of those. Those are pretty bad picks. I'm not really happy with that. We don't have a lot of card draw right now. Wow, just a Ravager. So her Murloc package is Sir Finley, Mutanus, and two Murlocculas. So she might have a Mutanus. Let's keep that in mind. Sir Finley. I don't think we're super stressed about Sir Finley, right? Let's start here. This is good. Hit for seven. Um. Boy, that's that's a lot of damage, but I do have a weapon already. Or would I prefer to just draw a card, I guess? Probably prefer to just draw a card, right? Yeah, I mean, I love Might of Minithil, but she's not really very minion-based, so... I don't think that's likely to be a huge risk. Let's not commit any more stuff here, since uh, we might be playing a little bit into removal if we do. She's not on Mutanus yet, so that's not a risk. Turn 6, she have no Muncher. She does have two no Munchers, yeah. She might play a no Muncher here. Yeah, no muncher. Okay, that's really not too bad. We can go ahead and howling blast that, I guess, right? Definitely worth it to push some some heat here, I think. Is this two mana? Go for a school teacher, or maybe go for some card draw, but I don't want to play too many small things here, because it's worse against Blood Boil. One of the cool things about Blood Boil is. Another Icy Touch? Those are pretty gross with Bran, honestly. Frost Strike's a little more value. I have three card draw cards in hand and an Astalor in hand. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the damage, honestly. Let's go. She's at 17. The cool thing about Blood Boil, as I was saying, is it only heals at end of turn. So if she, like, plays a Blood Boil here, but the 4-4s four live, they still get to deal 8 and set up a potential lethal, right? So, oh, Corpse Explosion, that was a clear. Okay, she takes two more. Hematurge. Okay, how much damage do we have? This is two, four, six, eight, ten. So not quite there yet. I think this is a good Astalor turn. I think we do ship this face, by the way. She obviously has ways to gain life, like the three drop thing, three drop spells insane. Clearly quite a few ways to gain life. Um, are we using this weapon now or later? If I top deck a weapon, how likely am I to play that for additional damage? How many weapons do I have? I have two more weapons, right? Didn't I already play the bone thingy? Not very likely. I think we hold the weapon in that case. We might need math against a taunt or I don't know. She has bone guard commanders, that 8-8 guy. So if she plays that, for instance, we could go uh, remorseless and try to find a way through that. Patchwork instead. Don't hit Astalor. Anything but Astalor. Dang, Astalor gone. That's a tough roll. Uh, I don't think I have any lethals here either, right? We're still only looking at six, eight, nine with the hero power. Let's see what this finds us, though. Defrost is a great card, I think. Although we could just play more minions, huh? Let's play more minions. Oh. Okay. 
She's at 11. We don't have to hurry. Uh, would she have been dead if Asselor uh, was alive? I don't think so, right? Asselor was only 8. He wasn't mana thirsted yet, so... I don't think she would have been dead yet. I don't like how we're giving her a little more time here. I didn't really secure any additional pressure or damage in hand. So we're giving her some some windows here. Yeah, see, she's healing six. This is unfortunate timing. That Astellor snipe was really nice. What else did he eat? He ate a Rhyme Sculptor. That's kind of fine. We don't care about that so much. 17. Uh... We can start with a Remorseless and see what we find. We got a lot of card draw right now in hand. I love that the Remorselesses are doing a little chip damage along the way though, right? That's pretty nice. Oh, Brand Theatar is fun. Oh, Brand Nogglings are also fun. Those each become four damage. Uh, this actually technically burns a card sometimes, but I think we're okay with that. I think we swing here because... I'm drawing two more cards. Well, only one more real card. I'm not really going to spend mana on a weapon, am I? I don't think so. I'm, I'm actually going to wait again. I mean, is there any chance she freezes my face? She doesn't really have frosty, freezy stuff as blood unless she discovered something. Mm, I don't know. Nah, it's it's too early. I'm not going to hit a weapon. The odds of hitting a weapon are so slim. So each noggling is four damage with Bran, right? That's eight, ten with a weapon. Oh, freeze face would have been really nice. But Bran freeze face now becomes really intriguing. Merloculas do heal a lot too, though. I don't have a lethal set up here. Let's see what we can find. Oh, I drew a weapon. Oh my god, punished. Actually punished. She's at 20. Dang, actually punished, man. I'm a little sad. Oh, that's a bad burn, too. Man. Pretty unfortunate sequence there, wasn't it? Go for Brand Theatar, maybe take her Denathrius, but if I do, I'm I'm acknowledging that this game is going in a very different direction because I'm not killing these Merloculas. Um I guess I could brand Theatar and freeze face so that I'm not healing five, but then these Merloculas just heal six anyway, and that really sucks. I can't quite brand Denathrius. Am I ever using brand Nogglings on these? At some point, it's worth more, right? Because <sighs> they're going to heal six anyway. Boy, oh boy. I don't like this. I gotta hurry here, I got two of these. Oh my god, I gotta hurry. Oh god, I gotta hurry. Oh no, 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 I gotta hurry. Oh please, uh... Okay, I gave them a spammy, which actually is probably the right pick, honestly. I didn't get anything good except a soul stealer though, so that sucks. What a terrible turn. She didn't have anything. She didn't have anything! I saw basically the whole hand! This is the only good card, ugh. Uh, that's a really bad turn. I just didn't have anything good, though, is the problem, right? I, as bad as that was, I don't know what I would have done differently in the, you know? What was the better line in my hand? Maybe just rip a Denathrius and hope it kills the Merloculas, but it's only at nine. There's no way. I don't know. Terrible turn. Both, I don't think I played it fast enough, number one, but also just, you know, terrible result. I, nothing good happened. Where is that freaking Astalor she ate? Dude, imagine how different this game would be with an Astalor right now. It's going to be really tough to win now without Brand and Athreus. I don't know. That might have been a throw. I was just hoping to find her and Athreus, you know, something good. Said I got garbage. I got utter garbage instead. It's gonna be really hard to get there on damage now. I'm very sad. 
Uh. His hand's just bad again. I still don't have a good turn. Somehow I still don't have good turns. This is actually pretty good with Sylvanas, huh? We don't hate getting Sylvanas pumped up here, I think. Uh, I actually value face damage more, don't I? Because, uh, because of blood boils and stuff, right? We don't want to play in a blood boil too hard. But with Sylvanas and Denathrius, that's actually a pretty good, pretty good card to get. Denathrius is 16 now. Yeah, I hope that doesn't end up being a throw. What's she going to play to beat you now? Denathrius still wins, right? I was hoping to get a Denathrius. She doesn't have one or she probably wouldn't be finleying, right? So she might be starting one now. We can actually just Sylvanas the Gnome Muncher. That's pretty dang good. Um, really one of the best targets in her deck because it can hit face. Yeah, this is pretty good. This is an extra five, right? Seven when you count my hero power. Um... Okay, we're 19. Oh, we can play this too. Dang, that's a good turn. Shoot. All right, we love it. Okay, Glacial plus Denathrius is actually pretty big damage outs now. Because this is 19 and 4. Not a bad board either. This is the right kind of shape of board, I think. Okay, that's only 25 on board, 27 on board. Uh, This is lethal, right? Because it's 23, this is 21, and then I just horn Glacial, right? Could even put in a Noxious as well. Ooh, I think we got lucky there, guys. I think I threw that Brandon after his turn. Dang. Oh, that just really whiffed. Her hand was just garbage, you know? I didn't expect her hand to be just absolute garbage. Okay, seven and zero oh today, guys. One final game. If we <laughs> listen, if we lose. I'm, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Like it's fine. I'm not mad. How was her hand so bad? I mean, I, I did. I see. I didn't actually notice. That I was going so fast because we were roping. Did the did the theater actually spot all of the cards? I think she had six in hand. I didn't notice if I got a repeat or not. I guess I definitely got a repeat because I saw my card and I took it back. So I didn't see all six cards, but man. Whew. Whew. All right, one final game. Got one more point out of this round at least, which is nice, dude. All right, this is a great hand. Do we keep defrost? I really love card draw. Sometimes we don't get there on the first wave. I think I think we might actually. It's been so important to keep our hand full. It's weird. I, I didn't do this on day one, but I Okay, this hand's a little split now, but Patchwork's a good card. We certainly aren't ever mad to see Patchwork. This is what's made this one blood deck really interesting, I think, how good Patchwork is. Frost Strike's nice. She doesn't have a lot of minions, but if she does have something, it's a good turn too. If not, um, hero power will be fine. Now we're gonna have a debate on coin Thessarian or coin patchwork. I don't know which we're gonna like better. Okay, that's a good frost strike. Yeah, that's fine. I like her tempoing the Astalor. I, I think I've seen people not doing that. Oh, I really wanna use my weapon here though too. No, we'll hold, it's fine. But this weapon in hand in particular, we need to get through our weapon durability ASAP, right? This is a decent turn three play. Then I can save the coin for patchwork and play Thessarian on four. <sighs> Bring it all reaches all. Oh my God, Cora, you're making me nervous. No, don't do that. Oh, that's another disruption card. Okay. We like to see that. We like to see that. Okay. Actually moving through my weapon durability. What is this? Hey, Cora, by the way. 
Sorry, I'm on a minute delay, so it may seem like I'm ignoring you for a while, but I promise I'm not trying to. <laughs> My apologies if it feels that way. Oh man, hand quality is high, but hopefully we don't get wrecked by uh, her own disruption, right? Her own patchwork and stuff. Next turn looks like the kind of weaker turn, maybe. We'll have to rely on a Frost Strike to do something here, maybe. Okay, she's actually clearing, unfortunately, though. I mean, I don't mind too much because we're getting extra damage out. Hit face, hit face, hit face! Yes! The Syrian knows where to go. I think Korra coded the Syrian to always hit face for me. Yes! <laughs> we love it. That's a great draw, actually. Dang, filling the curve perfectly here. Um... Man, do we take Might? I, I mean, Gargantuan's pretty spicy sometimes, but really hard to control. I think Might's a more reliable card to control. Yeah, I, I mean, that's debatable, right? We may come back to regret that, but the Gargantuan's just so susceptible to getting cleared and then not doing anything, you know? Okay, Sculptor's good, but actually maybe a bit of a liability in this matchup. I think we're always playing Patchwork. I think we hope she has some kind of minion out. I do wish this hand had a little more damage right now. Oh, I played that in the wrong order, didn't I? Oh, no, no, I probably discounted that. Ooh, that's a great patchwork target to kill. It's one of the best removals we could get. Now we want to hit Denathrius or her patchwork. Just kill her patchwork. It's easy. It's easy. Okay. Talon could maybe shut down a Tyrion draw, so I don't mind that too much. Or not Tyrion, God. A Denathrius draw. I got my four drinks confused. 23 to go. Not the highest damage hand, though, right? We have this and this and this and this. This deals eight. I don't think we go Theotar yet. We probably want to do that, like, on turn nine. I had coin, right? Yeah, I just coined Patchwork. Yes, I had coin, so we can trust the real mana count for Denathrius. Right? Uh, Horn of Winter. Okay. Does she have a weapon? No, no weapon. So Freezing Face does not deny healing. Okay. Scared to play this because it gives her so much life gain, potentially. I can't really turn corner face yet either, though, because we're still at 28, right? That's such a long way to go. So I, I think we probably have to play this for now. Like, if I just hit for eight, she's at 20, but I don't have a finisher in hand. No Astalor, no Denathrius. This infuses Sylvanas too. I don't love this because I think it plays into a lot of her cards, but we're not there yet. We're just not there on removal, so we have to we have to chip away a little more. Hopefully this doesn't get punished too too hard, but it's just the function of our hand right now. So Blood Boil is kind of the worst case on this one. I don't think it's a disaster. I mean, we still get this chip damage, the Astalor probably dies. Best case is maybe she just like rips the Astalor. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, we got lucky, dude. Lucky. Hit the Noxious, which is so low value. Hit the worst minion on board. That was great. Giga lucky. Pretty good remorseless to start and see what we find, right? Rinathal? I just hitting for nine here? Theotar would be really nice next turn because she's going into turn 10 soon. So we might want to just tidy up the board here a little bit to respect the, uh, I want to be ahead on board into my Theotar turn, right? I want to make sure she's playing defensively here so that I can play Theotar safely on, on six. Um, so yeah, this is fine. I mean, this loses a little bit of damage over two turns because the might needs two turns to hit, right? But ultimately, I think sets us up a little better. Now, that's a great freeze target. 
Um, hopefully this goes face, man. Ah. Oh, no muncher's really nice. Do we just no muncher Sylvanas now? How big could her the? Oh my god. Grand Frigadara. I mean, Brand Theatar is potentially good, but I honestly give up a lot of great cards. That makes me a little nervous. I think I... <sighs> Am I crazy to play this and Theatar this turn? Is that is that wacky? I don't really want to Brand Theatar. I give her too many good things. But I do get a really good take on a, on a Denathrius. But the, the problem with the Brand Theater is I don't really deal with the No Muncher and I leave a lot of healing out, guys. I don't... There is an Astalor up there, though. Uh, isn't there? She Yeah, she played the five Astalor. Yeah, this is probably worth it then. I can still play the Might of Minifil. I did this again where I took too long. Uh, okay. Yes. Yes, okay. I, I don't actually have the clear now though because of the uh steals here, but I think we I think we happily say that was worth it. <laughs> I think we acknowledge that that was definitely worth it. Um okay. <sighs> I mean, it does put me behind on board a little bit, but again, I I think we have to acknowledge that was the right call. That was quite clearly insane. He can, she can double clear here by attacking the Bran and then uh, cleaning up the Theotar. I mean, I can probably just rip Denathrius, right? And say, deal with it, and then rip Astalor and say, deal with it, right? She's going to be a 28 minimum. Okay, that's actually a really good Frigidara, though. Can I do Frigidara and Sylvanas? Yes, actually. And since my Bran is gone, I think that's worth it, right? I will never but you shall. Also just draws a million cards. Sets these up really nicely. That's more damage, okay. That's illegal. <laughs> Chat, you're finally catching up. I love, I actually love having the delay. Oh, boy, spammy. No, <laughs> she's the unluckiest person on earth. She's actually the unluckiest person on earth. She is officially the unluckiest person on the planet earth. She's so unlucky. She's so unlucky. I hope that dies. I'm going to be very annoyed. Okay. She missed. She missed. She missed the two home run cards. I cannot believe this game. She may be the world's unluckiest person. I went eight. No, she just conceded. High five, boo. We did it. I just scammed the craziest game of my Hearthstone career. Perfect day. I cannot believe that game, dude. Oh my God. I'm just absolutely stunned. I feel like I play a lot better when I'm not constantly checking what you guys have to say and what you think. Because normally when I play, you guys are there to give me live feedback and I'll like look at chat and then I'll look at the board and I'll be like, what do you guys think? And then I'll look at chat and I'll look at the board and I get all twisted up in my brain. And now that you guys are on a delay and you can't influence my decisions, I think I just play with a lot more fluidity. You know, I just play with confidence. I play the cards, I spend the mana, I go face. I don't like second guess myself all the time, which, you know, I'm sure I miss good plays. Like you guys have, have come in along later, a minute later or whatever and said, oh Regis, you could have done this or whatever. And, and I'm sure I've missed a few good opportunities, but I think it's about the rhythm. I like, I stay in rhythm and I know my game plan and I focus as opposed to bouncing back and forth. I think I just get twisted up. Can I throw up the scores? I can, I think. I think they said this was public. I think it's fine. People have been screenshotting this all day. 
uh team frost here 49 points for yours truly i went 19 and 5 sounds like uh dog and i actually tied for the best records but i had a crazy point bonus here at the end because of a couple things i went on a five win streak and i had the helm of domination but team standings we have a very solid lead right so collectively for us as a team this is a twenty thousand dollar hearthstone game right we win we make twenty thousand dollars oh big well, honestly think we probably just played an Afris here right i think so yeah he has it, then we're pretty screwed, right? We're still fine. Oh, I, think. I mean, we can probably even get there after the Denapolis. Yeah, yeah I think we still get her after the Denapolis. <clears throat> Depends how, how big much, it would be, right? How much does theirs heal? I have no idea. I think it's 22. It's a touch the left card. <laughs> I honestly think we probably still beat it because we have two frost. Oh, oh that's GG. We did it, boys. We did it. We did it, boys and girls. Sorry. Did, did, you, girls. See, did you wait oh, for the minions? Oh my first? goodness, we're the champions. Mithy, did you see the minions first? <laughs> once I got once I got healed for like with taunts for twelve by them. GG. Right, wait, what? Oh, the attack was a bit delayed. Oh god, <laughs> GG. We did it. We did. It. Well, well, we'll pretend it was a team effort early, right? Of course, of course. Of course. Oh, that's good. That's good. We did it. Guys, I'm so proud of you all. Man, you guys are the best teammates, too.